Welcome to Dark Star. Hi, I'm Robert Jane. Today we're gonna talk about COVID in Sweden with the Nia. Let's go! So, Nia, what's what's happening in uh, with the COVID nineteen in Sweden? And is everything fine? Um. Well, uh, since I haven't. Not really so aware of so much in Sweden because I don't really read much about COVID. But as far as I've seen, when I go out, people don't really wear masks. Uh, they oh. don't really care much. So it seems like in Sweden, uh, they don't really uh, see it as a very very important thing. But there are mm. still I do I have seen lots of people who do wear um, safety things and stay away from people, although. There are still some commercials or something like that, I think, where they tell us to have more distance from each other. Or sometimes mm. when we go into shops, they tell us that maximum only 20 people are allowed in the shop. So there wow. are some safety things, but I wouldn't say that they take it as seriously as other countries. I guess it's more mm. free in a way. I actually don't have so much opinions about this. I honestly just want to be able to go out again and go to university to study because i guess uh, the biggest problem at least in my opinion is online classes um mm. it's really hard to concentrate and study well when the online classes uh, usually have connection issues so mm. that's the biggest problem with covid i think that people cannot meet each other and go to study mm. or work lots of shops yeah. have also closed down in sweden like Lots of places uh, closed earlier and closed down entirely. Lots of, um, well, how do I say this? It's a big problem, I think. My, many people lost their jobs or barely kind of keep their job. So I guess uh, even if Sweden don't really seem like take to take this as seriously as other countries still, um, it's like everything is going really bad right now. Mm -hmm. and about other like tourists coming to sweden i think it is a, there is some type of restriction they don't let too many tourists come in for now but they still like as soon as i mean as long as people um have uh, well if they do it right i guess they're allowed into the country but i'm not sure i think it's quite open Maybe. One of the things I actually miss about university or, yeah, going yeah. out is the ability of kissing people. Because, you know, Italian kiss each other. So Wait, what? We, we kiss. kiss. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we, we kiss each other oh. when we meet on the street or we go to university. Like, hey, bella, ciao, come stai? Mwah, mwah. Yeah, we do that. <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's normal. That's really nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it makes everybody more lovely. I have another question. If you would be the president of Sweden, how would you fix this COVID-19 issue? Oh, that, that's a really difficult question, but... Um, hmm. Well, it's really difficult because, like, I would probably somehow... I mean, of course, I would say to people to keep more distance from each other and be safe. But, but at the same mm -hmm. time, I would try to do anything to keep the business going so that nobody loses their jobs. So mm -hmm. maybe like minimize taxes probably and also like well, try to have uh, other ways to solve uh, people's issues uh, with work and studying. Because uh, it seems like in Sweden, they don't really care about that either. So. Because of that, mm. um, people lost their jobs and cannot study. So I, I think that's the first thing I would do if I could control it. I would probably just come up with some type of solution to help people with that. So that everyone can keep their jobs and keep their mm. education. Yes. <laughs> Another question. Try to imagine what would be the worst situation in Sweden. For this year. What would be the worst? The worst case uh, scenario. 
Uh, if we could imagine that, you mean? Yes. Oh, I see. Uh, I think in worst case scenario is that, um, well, I think that it becomes such a big court in that almost nobody will be able to go out and people are locked inside their homes. Um, I think that would be the worst case scenario because in that case, there will be no social life for a long time and no money, like people would not get any money income at all. So it would be really mm. difficult in living situation i think but i doubt it because whatever happens people st will still go out people will still try to do anything to maintain their life oh. i guess yeah maybe that would be the worst case scenario if everyone were forced to stay home for too long maybe yes. also if the infection spread too much as well and quickly but it seems doesn't seem like that very dangerous infection as people, you know, people just have to stay away from each other and not really, you know, just don't cough on each other. And then it's fine. Doesn't really, I don't think mm. it spreads that quickly and that much. As long as people are careful. Thank you, Nia, for your opinion. So uh, today I've actually learned Sweden has the same issue as Italy inside the European Union. We have very similar issues. Mm. As issue that I have is usually with learning stuff because I can't sit still for very long or do the same thing for very long so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you like it please give us a comment and subscribe our channel see you in next video